Okay, so in this tutorial I want to show you how to create this nice looking page border inside Microsoft Word. And if you select this shape, you can move this yellow handle to be wider or narrower. So this solution is quite flexible for page borders. So let's get started. I'll start in the blank document. And usually when you think about page borders, you think about the button which is called page border in the design ribbon, which is this one. But this is really useful only for simple like bugs like shapes for your page. I mean, if you want anything more fancy, there is this whole R section, but it feels like, you know, like traveling in time. It's very obsolete. And I'm not quite sure if you would ever want to use this kind of page borders in Microsoft Word because really it's like horrible looking. So let me open this page border one more time, select it to none. And what we do instead is we will just draw some random shapes, which we will then use as a fill for the border shape. So I will draw a new triangle. So insert shapes triangle, which is this one. And I will draw it with the shift key being pressed like so and make it like this big. Right click and select a format shape. Before I set the fill color, I will change the palette. So design colors. And I think I was using this red violet one, which is my favorite. And for the triangle itself, I will set the line to no line and fill color to any of those default colors. Actually, it's a little bit more visible if I open it from here from the shape format. So for the shape fill, I will use any of those colors. I will also increase the transparency to 50% just so it's a little bit transparent. And then I will just copy and paste this shape multiple times. I can do it a few more ways. I can just press Ctrl C, Ctrl V and just recolor it to a different color. I can also drag it with my control key press. So if I hit the control key on my keyboard and then move the shape around, it will immediately create me a copy. Now, if I want those triangles to be on a different shape, different sizes, I can of course resize those while pressing the shift key just so it keeps the same aspect ratio. What I can also do is I can right click on any of those shapes or jump into the insert shapes. And instead of left clicking, I can right click this shape and select the locked drawing mode. So this will done is it will just keep drawing triangles. So if I draw one triangle, it will still keep the triangle selected. So I can just draw second one, third one, and I can draw those in different sizes until I just press outside of the page or I just press the escape key on my keyboard. Again, for those, I will increase the transparency to 50%, set the line to no line, and I can just continue. And just not to bother you watching me 10 minutes of duplicating shapes, let me speed things up a little bit and get to the, my final looking shape. Okay, I think that this, this should be it. I mean, you can spend much more time, but keep in mind that we will only see portion of this image. So I think that we are fine for right now. Now, what I want to do is select every single shape. And usually I would just go to the home ribbon and select this select drop down menu and select select objects and draw the selection rectangle. Unfortunately, since everything is covering the whole page, I cannot do it this way. So I have opened the selection pane and then just control click every single shape in this list. So I will press the control key on my keyboard and just keep clicking until every triangle in this list will be selected. I mean, it takes a little bit of time, but uh, fortunately it's not that bad. Okay, so let me select all the individual triangles, go into the shape format and select group, group everything together. So this is our base shape. We want to add a new page to the document, but again, that might be hard to do since everything is covering the page. So I will hide first everything. So click this eye icon for our group, then double click anywhere on the page with my mouse and just press the enter key a few more times to jump to the next page. Then I can jump back to the first page show our shapes with this again with this eye icon select this group and copy it into the clipboard using either this button or the ctrl c shortcut then for the second page i will draw a new shape which will be the frame shape so insert shapes and there is this shape which is called frame which is exactly what we want i will click it and draw it like a little bit smaller than the page itself and maybe adjust this yellow handle to be the size of our page border right click select the format shape for the line set to no line but for the fill set to the picture or texture fill and click this clipboard which will use our previously copied image now it looks kind of strange we have to click the tile picture as texture and also set the alignment to be center aligned just so it looks like the left image you can see we have some empty spaces on the right side so we have to adjust the 
offset x and offset y a little bit to get it a little bit more centered like so but i think that this is looking pretty nice again the last thing which we can do is we can move this yellow handle to change the shape of the page border to be even wider or narrower and i think that this looks pretty nice i mean this look kind of strange it's a mess of triangles but once you use this image for the fill for the shape border i think it looks perfectly fine and you can probably or you can most likely use it for your document and that's it thank you for watching and see you next time